The CCD camera, developed in the early 1970s, has become a mainstay of surveillance systems. Advances in CCD technology have allowed the production of smaller, low-cost surveillance cameras with improved video quality. Here, a CCD camera is shown with the lens removed to reveal the CCD imaging sensor, which acts as the eye of the camera. The lens focuses light onto the surface of the CCD sensor, which stores and transfers image information in the form of electrical charges. The CCD, or Charged Coupled Device, invented in 1969 by Willard Boyle and George Smith of Bell Telephone Laboratories, is a metal oxide semiconductor device composed of thousands of photosensitive areas called picture elements, or pixels. These areas are also sometimes referred to as photodiodes. The CCD sensor is the main type of sensor used in the vast majority of modern surveillance cameras. We will now zoom in to examine the operation of a pixel. A diagram of a single pixel is shown here in cross-section. In a three-phase CCD, each individual pixel consists of three conductive strips called gates printed on top of an insulating silicon dioxide layer. Below this is a layer of N-type silicon material, which rests on a layer of P-type silicon substrate material. A positive voltage applied to a gate, in this case gate number two, causes a local potential energy minimum known as a potential well to form in the silicon substrate layer underneath the gate. When incident light falls on the pixel, the energy of the light is absorbed resulting in the liberation of electrons. These photogenerated electrons migrate and accumulate in the well. The amount of charge accumulated in a well is proportional to the amount of light striking the pixel area in a given amount of time, or more specifically, the photon flux. Therefore, the greater the intensity of light striking the pixel, the greater the amount of accumulated charge. Each of the many thousands of pixels on the CCD sensor will have varying amounts of light striking them based on the image that the CCD sees. Therefore, each of the pixels will have different amounts of charge accumulated. These stored charge packets contain the image information that will be subsequently processed to form a single image. By capturing and transferring multiple sequential images in a precisely timed fashion, a video signal is produced. The ability of the CCD sensor to store and then transfer charge packets within the silicon structure enables the CCD to produce a video signal. A slowed down version of the charge transfer process is shown here. Gate number three is turned on and some of the charge under gate number two spills over into the adjacent well. Gate number two is then turned off and the charge is completely transferred to the potential well under gate number three. Gate number one is then turned on and some of the charge underneath gate number three spills into the well underneath gate one of the adjacent pixel. Gate number three is then turned off and the charge is fully transferred into the well under gate number one. Gate number two is then turned on, causing a portion of the charge underneath gate number one to transfer into the well under gate number two. Gate number one is then turned off, and the charge is fully transferred to the well underneath gate number two. This process then repeats. It is important to note that the charge transfer process takes place at a high rate of speed to produce the sequence of images that form a video signal. In this diagram of several side-by-side -side pixels, we see that each of the number one gates are connected to a common conductor, as are each of the number two and number three gates. This allows all the number one gates to be turned on or off simultaneously, all the number two gates to be turned on or off simultaneously, and all the number three gates to be turned on or off simultaneously. By varying the gate voltages in a precisely timed sequence, the charges in each pixel can be transferred to the adjoining pixel and eventually to a detector that converts the charge packets into a voltage signal. The transfer of charge packets within the silicon structure gives rise to the term charge coupled device. There are various types of CCDs in use today. One of the most common CCD designs used in surveillance cameras is the interline transfer CCD. The interline transfer CCD consists of alternating columns of imaging pixels, shown here in white, and masked storage pixels, 
shown here in orange. The imaging pixels are sensitive to light and are used to accumulate charge and therefore contribute to the formation of an image. By varying the gate voltages on the pixels as previously shown, the charge from the imaging pixels is transferred to the storage pixels. The masked storage pixels function only to store and transfer charges and are not able to respond to incoming light. After the charge from the column of imaging pixels is transferred to the adjacent column of storage pixels, the charge in the storage pixels is then transferred row by row into the serial register located at the bottom of the sensor. The serial register then transfers each of the charges sequentially to the output node located at the end of the serial register. This process is then repeated until all the rows have been transferred and read out. A charge detection amplifier located after the output node converts the series of electrical charge packets into a representative sequence of voltages to form a complete image captured by the CCD sensor. By capturing multiple images in rapid succession, a video signal is formed which can be sent to a recording device or monitor. Additional signal processing electronics are utilized to improve the quality of the video signal and to perform various functions of the CCD. One of the main disadvantages of the interline transfer CCD design is that over 50% of the pixels are storage pixels which are shielded from incoming light, leaving less than half the pixels of the CCD available for imaging. This resulted in reduced sensitivity in earlier interline transfer CCDs. However, advances in CCD technology have greatly increased the performance of interline transfer CCDs. High quality interline transfer CCDs utilize an array of microlenses positioned on the surface of the sensor. These microlenses gather light that would otherwise be lost on the masked storage pixels and focus it onto the light sensitive imaging pixels, thereby dramatically increasing the effective photosensitive area on the CCD sensor, resulting in greater sensitivity. CCD image sensors are manufactured in various sizes depending on the particular application. For surveillance cameras, the most common format sizes are 1 quarter inch, 1 third inch, and 1 half inch. The 1 quarter inch CCD camera is typically used in situations that have good lighting. The smaller CCD size actually provides a higher apparent magnification for a given focal length than the 1 third or 1 half inch CCD cameras due to the geometry involved. However, this comes at a price, since the 1 quarter inch CCD provides less surface area which results in decreased image brightness. Still, a 1 quarter inch CCD camera can prove useful in well-lit areas, particularly in indoor surveillance situations such as casinos or department stores where high zoom magnification is needed to observe details of a subject. However, the 1 quarter inch CCD is less suited for low light situations due to the smaller surface area of the sensor. The 1 3rd inch CCD camera is the most prevalent format size in consumer surveillance cameras as it provides the best price and performance point. This CCD format has proven to be very versatile as evidenced by the large variety of cameras that have been designed around it. The 1 3rd inch format provides an excellent combination of brightness, image quality, versatility, and affordability. Recent advances in the structural design of CCDs have resulted in a newer class of 1 3rd inch CCD cameras that provide excellent images in both nighttime and daytime. The 1 half inch CCD format is generally used in high resolution cameras that are especially sensitive in low light conditions. The larger surface area of the 1 half inch CCD provides high light gathering ability and when combined with an advanced CCD design, these cameras can actually provide usable video in low light conditions that stifle cameras with smaller CCDs. However, one drawback of the 1 half inch CCD format is that with the increased performance comes an increased price. It should be noted that the CCD format size does not represent the actual physical dimensions of the CCD sensor. In fact, the CCD format size convention used today is actually based on comparison to the diameter of Viticon tube cameras. The CCD has long replaced the tube cameras, however this somewhat misleading convention has persisted and is in use today. The CCD format size is utilized to indicate the relative size of the sensor. The choice of a particular CCD format size is important as it affects the optical geometry of the camera. For example, a lens with a 16 mm focal length used with a 1 quarter inch CCD chip will have different apparent magnification, coverage area, and brightness 
than that of a 1 3rd inch CCD using the same 16 millimeter lens. Therefore, the format size of the CCD must be considered along with the focal length of the lens to ensure that the desired performance is obtained from the camera. Factors influencing image quality of CCD cameras include the lens quality, signal processing circuitry, CCD type, and CCD size. The lens system focuses light onto the CCD and is the first part of the camera that incoming light passes through. Therefore, the lens quality plays an important part in the final image quality of the camera. The signal processing circuitry of the camera also plays an important part in the video quality. The CCD camera is equipped with additional circuitry to process the video signal generated by the CCD sensor. This can include advanced digital signal processing, known as DSP, pre-amplifier, automatic gain control, and filter circuitry that can substantially improve video quality. The type of material used in the CCD manufacturing process also plays an important part in determining the final video quality. Advances in semiconductor material and the design and architecture of CCD sensors have resulted in a new generation of CCD sensors with greater sensitivity, clarity, and resolution.